Last race from Motoy here today is the two mile one furlong Huron handicap chase. Go through the race card here, it's for horses rated up to 140. We've got Argira for Darren Thompson, Jason X, Ryan Tamasebi, Night Star Ryan Costello, Gales Cavalier for John Morgan, is he three to one favourite? Chiller Melbourne Pontypool Racing, Sabratha Lady for James Shea, One Master for David Hooley. Scarlet Perky, James Shea, The Great Grey, Ryan Costello, Force 10 for Craig Beckwith, Ottilia Fleet for Alex Cherry, Monster Dominator for Jim Murray, Jemima Ville Camera for Alex Cherry, and Port Elizabeth for Paul Rhodes, 66 to 1 outside of that one. We're just getting a great view from above of the track that they've got ahead of them here, and they're off and running, the starter lets them go. And they're heading the other way on the course to what we've seen for the races so far, going right away from the stands and away from the winner's post with 14 fences here to jump in this two mile one furlong handicap. And they're coming to the first fence there, looking for it all over safely. A couple of slow jumps towards the rear of the field. Argyra wasn't particularly quick over it, neither was Jason X. And one master as well as they quite quickly come to that next flight of hurdles and we've lost one master so it was a bit hesitant at the first flight and down at the second and as they start a swing right-handed here with 14 furlongs they have to go quite a tight right hand bend there and a lot of the horses have gone out towards the middle of the track rather than sticking tight close to the rail perhaps the ground's just a little bit quicker in the center of the track there and it's Scarlet Perky that's out in the lead and has a few lengths advantage over Gales Cavalier and Sabrath Lady as they come to the next flight. Bit of a mistake there and nodded on landing. That one was the Great Grey and that one's been joined up by Ryan Costello's other Grey Knight Star. But one master the only to go so far and they're all over the next flight safely. Jason X didn't get particularly high over that one and brushed through the top of the fence but no real severe mistake as you can see that how tight that right-handed turn is as they now come back past those packed stands here at Orte and it's still Scarlet Perky that has the lead from the unbeaten Gales Cavalier that goes straight in the handicap company here as they go over that water jump there just that low cross-country style obstacle and all over it safely as you would expect with such a low flight Scarlet Perky's now been joined up alongside by Gales Cavalier and Gales Cavalier puts a much quicker jump in their mistake at that one from Sabratha Lady and that's allowed that one to be passed by Jemima Ville Camera and the Great Grey as well. And as the camera pans out you can see that there's quite a distance from first to last already with Gales Cavalier in the lead as they start turning left-handed and quite quickly come to that next fence. Much better jump from Scarlet Perky, they'll really ping that and got away from the fence as well to go back past Gales Cavalier at the front of the field. So you can see they really are getting strung out and Atelier Fleet, the jockey, was already getting hard to work there for a few strides as they settle themselves coming in the next fence. Poor jump at the rear of the field from Monster Dominator for Jim Murray and the jockey's getting to work on that one, trying to make sure it doesn't lose too much momentum as they all come over the next. A few of them brush through the top of that obstacle but all of them jumped it pretty fluently there and Scarlet Perky and Gales Cavalier really having a ding-dong battle up front as they they go over the next. The Great Grey is the first to burst out of the chase and pack to start to try and close the gap on these two leaders. Scarlet Perky and Gales Cavalier as they come in the final five furlongs. Mistake at the back of the field from Atelier Fleet. It's going to have to spread wings uh, to catch some of these as we come towards the four furlong marker and just a few fences left to jump. So Scarlet Perky still out in the lead. Bad mistake from Gales Cavalier when it was going to try and close that gap. Ploughed through the top of it and it's now force 10. The two Ryan Costello runners that are chasing that one down as well, just in behind. That's Nightstar and the Great Grey and Monster Dominator after an earlier error is now starting to make a lot of progress. Gales Cavalier has started to regain its momentum and make progress, looking for anything coming out of the pack. Sabratha Lady's trying to get back into it. And another Grey horse, Chiller Melbourne, is staying on and making some eye-catching progress from the rear of the field, but it might be a bit too late as we come to the final furlong and a half and they come over that the last flight and Scarlet Perky landed in the lead, but Gales Cavalier is really starting to get going again after that bad mistake and Gales Cavalier just pulling away from the field and it's going to be a really comfortable winner for John Morgan and Gales Cavalier makes it two from two, one on its debut, follows up in handicap company here in Orte to run quite a nice handicap prize, really good run from Scarlet Perky who ran from the front for so long in that race but in a really good performance but it was just collared for second just before the line by Monster Dominator who went off the 5-1 to one favourite so the joint favourites coming in first and second place there 
Well, now many had the reverse forecast on that. Scarlet Perky in third for James Shea. The Great Grey made a run, but then didn't quite last home for Ryan Costello in fourth. And Force 10 completes your top five for Craig Beckwith.